Yo, Everyday Superpower, the place where we talk about body language, we talk about game, we talk about attraction, seduction, everything in between, alright? Two links in the description of this video, one of them takes you through to my catalogue of body language as to where you will learn how to read people purely by observing their subconscious behaviours. Second to that is a link to the Patreon where you'll join me on real first dates, paying attention to attraction cues, repulsion cues, all of that good stuff. You'll internalise that information and you'll see it on your day to day and honestly, you're not going to get that info nowhere else. I'll change your life with that one. So. Let's move on to the topic of this video, right? Deal with the women who show interest to you, not those who don't, yeah? Makes sense, do you think? Could be easier, could be easier done. Well, well, what you want about? No women show interest in me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm unlovable, bloody, bloody, blah. Some, some women will, and you just and fine-tuned to picking up on the cues, all right? A reoccurring theme when it comes to men is that we can't read cues, okay? It takes a woman like three, four times to send the message across and you probably still won't pick it up. So this is why this channel and the understanding of attraction and the non-verbal cues and so forth uh, is, is it's in your best interest because you'll be able to clock onto it within the one time and as to whether you respond that first time or want to give it a moment just to pick up a little cue cluster before making your advance, that's up to you. Because, of course, men make the first move, right? That's what they say, but it's not the case. It's really not the case. The woman chooses you, and then it's up to you to take the leap of faith, take the jump. So let's, 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 look, at, let's look at attraction and romance and, you know, from A to B, from meeting someone or prior to meeting someone up until a, you know, sexual relation is engaged and done, right? Let's say that's zero to a hundred. We're probably looking at three to five on that initial, you know, um, showcase of attraction to you, all right? She may do it on a subconscious basis, all right? She'll allow you to see her looking at you, all right? Because she doesn't have to do that. She can look at you and dip and never look at you again. All right, you know what I mean. If you were a if you were a homeless people, uh, a homeless person, let's say, have you seen people pass a homeless person on the street? They just disengage eye contact. They do not look at them. They do not see them looking at them because they do not want to engage with that person. So if you look at that as one of the more least attractive people uh, you could be, then that would be a clear indication as to whether that woman is attracted to you by giving you clear eye contact. And it might not last for a second, you know, it might be over and done, but you've caught her seeing you. And more than likely, she's allowed you to see her, seeing her. She, she's lived, you know what I mean? We're, talk, we're talking grown women here. You know what I mean? Grown legal women. She's had years on years on years on years of life being able to hone this skill and being able to, um, you know, engage in it in a correct manner, purely as... She's engaged with the creeps before in her life. She's engaged with the beautiful men in her life before. She knows which ones she wants to send the message to. Second to that, we talk about your proxemics, your proximity. So if she's close to you, closer than she should be or could be, okay, that tends to be a somewhat clear indicator of attraction because in its most, you know, evident form, attraction is that as to which is close. You have created some degree of romantic magnetic pull to this woman she's not repulsed because she's not moved over she's come closer okay does that make sense makes sense to me we can overcomplicate it and you know add this whole variable you know circumstance but it really is as realistic as that her survival mechanism is not going to bring her closer to you if she is fearful through any means uh so so she's going to allow it to be known now that's the first basis. Secondly, if you're in communication with people, oh, well, how do I know that this woman at work likes me? Well, if you have to question whether she does or not, you might already have some sort of clue, okay? If you think she doesn't like you, then she's giving you a signal that she doesn't like you. If she's not engaging with you, she's not engaging with you. And that's not to say that she has to come and be the first to engage with you all the time. That probably isn't going to be the case, okay? Because 
unfortunately, she's going to want you to pursue her. And I'm saying this average Joe. I'm not saying you're a superstar Hollywood, um, you know, monolith of a man as to where all the women are chasing you. It's probably not the case, is it? Let's be real. It's probably not the case. So you're going to have to pursue her to some extent. And what you will do in doing so is not go down into being the nice guy, but if you do it right, you'll look incredibly confident, okay? Because you'll be able to do so in such a way that you'll be able to express the fact that it's not the be-all and end-all for you. You know what I mean? Your heart's not going to be broken and your reputation is not going to be stained by the idea of this woman not giving you anything in return because one, you're already chasing her because she's showcased an interest in you. And second, you know, given you've got your game tight, it's going to be it's going to be really fun for both parties, okay? You know, the, the, the trying is more fun than the uh, outcome when it's on a consistent basis, because you just flow like water, your magic is second to none, you become supernatural in your game, right, so, moving onwards, the topic of this video, as I said, was, deal with the women who show interest to you, not those who don't, so let's say we're in sales, and we're marketing a product, yeah, why are we going to go forth, and try and sell a product cold, to people who have shown no interest, the advertisement has hit them and they haven't engaged with the advertisement. If anything, they've clicked off. They don't want to see it. Why are you going to go out of your way to pursue that and start trying to sell them a product they're not interested in? And you could be absolutely anyone, right? You don't know that person's background. So if you're the most handsome man on planet Earth, you can still remind her of her, you know, of her violent stepfather uh, from when she was a child. And she might just be subconsciously repulsed to the maximum. <clears throat> of you, yeah, purely down to reason she doesn't even understand herself, maybe, so don't think you're going to be everyone, anyone to everyone, if that makes sense, you are going to be attractive to those who perceive you as attractive through their own means, and believe me, it doesn't matter how ugly you think you are, if you keep yourself hygienic, you're probably going to be able to, you know, create that attraction with a certain crowd, with a certain market of people, and honestly, a good thing about this is, um, as of recent, I joined a dating app, Hinge it's called, yeah, that dating app, um, algorithmically speaking, after so long, it starts to give you a mirror of yourself um, through your feminine counterparts, you start to see a reoccurring instance of women who would be or should be attracted to you, given the pattern that the algorithm has picked up, it's an incredible thing, so by then, you actually have an understanding and an image of the people who would be interested in you. Isn't that incredible? So I'm not selling my product and advertising my product to somebody who isn't going to be interested, wasting my time, effort, and given it was a sales situation, my financial undoing so on pursuing this nonsense. Whereas I can find the hot leads, right? And what a lead is, is somebody who has registered interest, yeah? Yeah clearly they're interested, if I was selling this product to people who want the product, it's going to be a lot easier, and if anything, they're the winner when I give them my time and attention, yeah, if anything, they're the one who is put in the submittant position, yeah, even though it feels like you yourself as the man shouldn't be going out and chasing these people, they've showcased their interest to you, so they feel like they've seduced you, through you engaging back with them, as opposed to you going around feeling like you have to do some sort of black magic and wizardry on every woman you come across in order to hopefully find some degree of attraction. They've already shown you their attraction. All you've got to do at this point is not F it up, basically. Easier said than done, right? But it's all a learning curve. It's a learning process. There's such an incredible parallel to sales in this game as to where you yourself are marketed as a product in the sexual market, uh, the sexual marketplace, you just have to find what your market is, which tends to come with your rating, right, if you, I don't tend to do numbers and all that, I find it a bit childish, but let's say, for example, you do have a particular rating out of 10 in this um, market value, you can higher or lower your rating over time, as you become more efficient in the game, and you'll become more attuned to more beautiful, more successful, more promising women that spark your desire, 
Is she spending time with you? Does she engage with you? Does she create full and consistent eye contact with you? Is she interested in you? Does she ask you questions? Does she refer back to times you have spent together and little things you have spoken of that most people would have forgotten about by now? Does she pay attention to you? If so, she has clearly, indirectly spoken to you that she finds you valuable, interesting, attractive. So you've won half of the game already. You just don't have to fluff it up at this point. You just have to continue moving on forwards. And you have to create something out of what little you have. So when I said initially, that indirect presence, that slight acknowledgement of who you are and that creation of connection from her behalf, yes, that's what 3%, 5% of the game. From here, you go and speak to them. You are right, and it doesn't matter. I'm not. You don't need to go and do no chat up lines and this and that. I know people like to do the whole linguistic thing. You do not have to go forth and come with this fantastic, magnificent spiel. It's irrelevant. You can just go over and engage as a comfortable person, and you're gonna start creating this transactional magic between you. You're gonna start investing into each other through time and energy and understanding, and that is when something is going to bloom, then we will have maneuverability to redirect our conversation and our connection into a different space when it makes sense, because it's not going to happen from the get-go, because she's going to need to feel you out for her own survival protocol, okay? And on that note, I'm signing out, click like, click subscribe, keep in touch, peace.